footage of the ancient ruins um, yesterday because that storm came through and everything kind of got flooded so I'm going to show you some video this morning. We have a nine and a half paddle, nine and a half mile paddle today to the confluence where we end our trip and we get picked up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. in the jet boat to take us up the Colorado back to Moab so um, so I'll show you there was a huge waterfall right there in that little V coming down yesterday I'm not sure if I got that on video little lizard guy Catherine always doubting. <laughs> Maybe Catherine was right. I don't think this is the way that we went. Check back in when we get there. Look out of Good morning. Jack's Canyon. Day nine. Here's the ruins here on the side of the cliff. I wish I could have got some other footage of the flash flood yesterday with huge waterfalls pouring out of the canyon a little bit farther downstream. But uh, here are the ruins. A little clay hut built into the side of the cliff here. You can see our campsite down there. Our campsite's right down over there. So pretty neat. We'll see you on the river. Alright, so I was able to scale this little wall here to get up in here to look inside these ruins. Oh, oh and it goes really far back. Very neat. Pieces. Just, just looks like a, like a hole. Like you can't even stand up in it. You know, you just have to crawl in and sit down. Very cool. Very neat spot. Very, uh, just very cool knowing that somebody climbed in just like me and went to sleep. <laughs> very cool. Just pushed off from camp of day eight. What was the name of that canyon again? Jasper. Jasper Canyon. I'm calling it Jack's Canyon. So if you heard Jack's Canyon, it's really Jasper Canyon. Uh, day nine, our last full day on the river, and about uh, nine and a half miles, we'll be at the confluence of the Colorado, where we will find a camp 
and uh, ready, for ready for the jet boat to pick us up tomorrow and take us uh, 66 miles up to Colorado, back to Moab. So, um, you probably saw some of the footage of the flash flood, so the river is up just a tad and the water is moving a little faster. So. But we're going to take our time. There is a takeout today, too, and uh, we um, don't want to get down there real early, so. But uh, I'll show you some shots of the river here. You can see it is a chocolate river, Willy Wonka's chocolate river. Augustus! Save some room for later! Today we are, there's some really cool hikes all the way down. If you go all the way down to Spanish Bottom, there's a hike called the Doll's House. Um, and uh, we're just too tired to go down there. It's about a six mile round trip hike. We probably have to do it really early in the morning. So I'll put that on the list for the next, uh, next trip. Um, but uh, overall, pleasurable evening. Last night after the Spiky flash flood, oh, I really wish I could have got some really good footage of some like massive waterfalls coming through the canyon. It was just unreal. Um, but uh, anyways, um, I will uh, check in later on. Sorry, there was a biting fly trying to get to me. All right, check in later. Still making our way through Stillwater Canyon. Down to the confluence. Canyon Lands National Park. Day nine. Day nine Green River. Catherine has proved to be the same level of backseat driver in a canoe as she is in the car. <laughs> I'm saying better than that. Mm, marginally. <laughs> Catherine's done a really good job, though, for lack of experience. Took her about eight days to catch on to a couple things, but she's... It's not that I don't know how to do things, it's that I'm usually tired, hot, and hungry. <laughs> but thank you, honey, I will take that sideways compliment. The only thing I can't do is carry the heavy bag. Everything else I can do. No golden eagle saw a peregrine falcon actually at our campsite at day uh, seven. Um, it actually knocked a bird out of the sky onto our beach and came down and picked it up and then flew up to a ledge. And it was actually eating it while it was flying too, so, which was pretty cool. Um, skirting the left river bank here for some shade. It's hot. This uh, chocolate river is not ideal for dunking your clothes, I guess. It really wouldn't matter, I guess, but everything's sandy and dirty. The boat is a disaster. The boat looks like somebody dumped it in a pot of mud and it did it. Yep. <laughs> ah, there we go. You wouldn't believe how much cooler it is in the shade. Oh, that's good stuff. It's actually a really good picture of it in the shade and the light right there. Really good video. Shout out to everybody that's been, that followed us um, with our Garmin inReach tracking. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you were able to see some of the details of the map of the places we were camped and things like that. So, um, appreciate you following us. Appreciate you watching uh, my videos. Uh, I'll probably get some video tomorrow of the jet boat coming in and taking us up upstream uh, 66 miles on the Colorado. So, um, but uh, well, this will be our, we've earned our second 100 mile canoe badge, <laughs> which I think is uh, a pretty cool accomplishment. Uh, and you know, it's hard out here, don't get me wrong, like it's, it's, it really is a lot of work, um, 
doing these trips, not only the planning, but just the day-to-day, -day, um, just the day-to-day -day activities. And ten days is a long day to be out, long time to be out on the river. Um, it, it really is. I was had mixed emotions this morning, knowing this was our last day. You know, I was, you know, honestly pretty pretty sad that it was our last day. But at the same time, just happy to get. Uh, Get a clean shower and get some things cleaned off and eat some uh, eat some real real food. I've I've had enough of the mountain house mud pies in the morning, so I'm ready for some solid food and just gives you a whole different perspective on some of the things that uh, we take for granted. So, but uh, this is right. That you, that you don't really need, yeah. Probably the greatest thing is not uh, not being able to be online or hear the phone ring or, you know, hear what um, No, I'll keep it in there. Um, but uh, I don't care. But, um, you know, it's been, uh, it's been super nice. Just to be away from it all, this is really what what life is about, and this is really, um, you know, just the experience of this. We've we've seen many things on this trip. The only way you can see the things that we've seen is by canoe. Uh, there are no, are really no trails that come down to a lot of these things. Um, and the only way you can see them is taking the Green River downstream. So. It, uh, it's been a humbling experience, of course. The weather has pretty much cooperated, except for the heat. Um, you know, we did have that rainstorm yesterday, that storm yesterday, and the flash flooding, but it was never anything that uh, put us really in any real danger. So, um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really been a great experience. I, I challenge you at home, if you're watching this, to start off small, do some smaller trips and work your way up and work your experience up and uh, you know experience things like this yeah it'll be hard and tough and you'll be uncomfortable at times but when you finish it you'll have gained a lot of self-confidence for yourself and um, you know you can put some really neat experiences notches on your belt so anyways I uh, appreciate you watching I'll tune in a little bit later Hiding out a little shade under some clips here. We have got, we are about to be at River Mile 4. Coming up on River Mile 3. Three more miles to the confluence.
the go. Bank in front is the Colorado. Thanks for joining us on our trip. Those of you at home tracking us on our trip, thanks. Hard trip, but worth every penny. Every mile. Every degree. Uh, every paddle stroke. Bank in front is on the Colorado. It's going to come from your left. So we're coming around this side. Correct. Should be a beach right around the bend.
off of the uh, Green River is currently red and the Colorado is currently um, regular river color. beach right here. We just have to make sure it's going to work. pull in right here and just do some scouting okay but this is probably going to be too shallow um, unless this is a deep spot right here which it is this is actually pretty deep right here hopefully this channel goes all the way deep
good job, Bo. Head it out. Wow, that river narrowed.